Hi, my name is Ilya Kaplan. I'm a composer, creator of VST instruments. I work for Uberschall and used to work for a gentleman named Alexander Haskin. Sometime in 2013 or 14, I got a call from my then employer, CEO of Salieri Music Incorporated, Alexander Haskin, or Alex Haskin, K-H-A-S-K-I-N. He said to me, Ilya, did you know that uh, someone stole your song? I said, Funny Walk, you know that stupid song you have? When he told me about my song being stolen by another artist, I was very surprised that he even knew about my song. But in retrospect, now I understand that he was following my top selling tracks even back in 2014. He was very, very jealous uh, about me selling music very successfully. Although he was pretty successful at selling music on royalty free websites as well, it turns out that after we parted ways, he decided to go full throttle and just take my whole library which he had access to, rename all of the songs and just upload them as his own. But to get back to the story, he even told me the name of the artist who stole my song. His name was Ramiz. I actually thanked him very much for telling me this information. I actually thanked him very much for telling me this information, not knowing that he was already renaming and selling my songs on multiple websites. When he realized that you can earn streaming royalties, he began giving away my music, just spreading it wherever he could. Basically, I found Ramiz online, on YouTube, he had two music videos to my song and a whole bunch of remixes released on iTunes and all over the place. I basically took him to court, he was represented by Sony Germany and I won the case uh, when an acoustic specialist proved that his song is a plagiarism of my song and 98% the same as mine. This was in 2014. Here are the papers from the court saying that I am the owner of the rights to the song Funny Walk or as Ramiz, the artist who stole the song, called it La La La. And here is my SoCan page, which is the Society of Composers of Canada, a PRO, where I registered the song in 2011. Highest selling song on stock music sites, royalty free music sites. It was a top earner for me. While all of this was happening, sometime in 2010, the same song Funny Walk was purchased legally by a YouTube channel called Annoying Orange. Today Annoying Orange has 7 billion views and my music is featured in quite a few videos which have over 100 million views. Some of them have 250 million views, some of them have 230 million views. Some of them just have 90 million views, but millions upon millions of views have my song either in the beginning, in the middle, or in the end, or all three, in any case. I didn't know about this until very recently, when I realized that Alex Haskin has uploaded my song to YouTube and renamed it and is collecting royalties with AdRev. Now, Alex renamed the song to Silly Walk. In the comments for Alex's fraudulent version of my song, many of the comments were asking or saying, oh, this is the Annoying Orange song, Annoying Orange, Annoying Orange, Annoying Orange. And so I was interested in what is Annoying Orange, and then I found out that Annoying Orange has 10 million subscribers and 7 billion views. Many hundreds of millions of views include my song. And he actually does have a song, Silly Walk. Here it is. As you can see, it sounds nothing like the theme from Annoying Orange or the theme that Annoying Orange bought from me because I wrote an email to the owner of Annoying Orange and they said they purchased it from neosounds.com from Ilya Kaplan called Funny Walk. Here's a video of the individual stems or the individual tracks with I my I moved to a different uh, dog because I just couldn't handle that 10 year old uh, 
new endo. Anyways, so here we go. So we have the guitar here, just by itself. We have a second guitar, it's like a funk guitar kind of thing. And together, playing by itself. We have a honky tonk piano. And then we have voice. La 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 la. I'm gonna sing with myself. La 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 early in the morning. Okay, so uh, drums, we have a bunch of drums in this group and they come in here somewhere, so let's solo the drums. Uh, is there more drums? Yeah, there's more drums. So that's the drums and bass. Okay, so let me take the drums out. I don't know if you can make out the bass. Mute the bass. Another drum. We have little bits like crash and whatever. With my voice featured as the lead, me singing, me whistling, Alex claims that he composed the song and he's the author. But how could that be if I'm the one singing the song, whistling in the song, it's my voice in it, I am the only one. Alex doesn't have the work file, never had it. He only has the mix down for the original Funny Walk and the variation, which instrumental version, without the vocals and without the whistle. He sometimes uses the fact that I worked for him for his studio, but this specific song was actually written by me for an artist in Russia. I did not end up selling it to the Russian artist, so I decided to upload it and sell it online. I have the only copy of the original uh, work file with the individual tracks. I have the contracts when I had to prove in court that the song belongs to me from 2014 whereas Alex only uploaded it in 2016. And I have records of sale and contracts where I licensed this same song to different clients beginning 2009 I think, 2010. Also I had a video uploaded to YouTube on my personal YouTube channel on October 18th of 2010 featuring this song, the same song, proving that I had possession of it at least six or seven years before Alex even realized that it's a successful song and decided to steal it from me. Since then, I realized that Alex has taken my whole library, around 500 tracks, picked the best selling ones, he sells music online as well, and he followed my sales closely. He renamed most of my songs and uploaded them all over the internet, giving the songs away for free, using dead people, uh, composers who don't exist anymore, who used to work with Alex, and uploaded the song under their names. SoundCloud has probably 200 of my compositions, which Alex Huskin uploaded to his own personal SoundCloud page. It would be very difficult to make a video such as this one for each single song that Alexander Huskin stole, ripped off or renamed, re-uploaded. So this video is regarding just funny walk or silly walk or cookie walk or walking funny or whatever title it may have been renamed to. But the same thing happened to at least 200 more tracks that I know of. And not only my compositions, compositions of other composers. He just copied it all and 
renamed it and re-uploaded it and registered them with SoCan and AdRev and I'm pretty sure other royalty streaming or collecting services around the world as if they are his own. When I began disputing Alex Huskins claims, red flagging him and disputing his claims and reporting him on SoundCloud and on YouTube, he quickly began to hide his uh, trail. He instantly turned off comments for all his videos that have my songs because through his comments or through the comments on his videos was how I found about Annoying Orange and this whole fraud, this whole fraudulent activity that has been going on in regards to him stealing music that doesn't belong to him. You can check out this composers forum. This is one of the biggest composer forums on the internet. And the topic is called the biggest bummer in the industry, Alex Huskin. And you can read up what dozens of people have to say about Alex's music theft over the years. La 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 la